Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am here to fix a little problem the community has been having concerning those tank tracks. That big problem being that we have this little jitter that'll go on if they are not set up properly. And actually, let me take this back to the workshop. I do have another example I set up here with my own creation because this creation I did grab off the workshop. And this is my own little example platform. And if not set up properly, you can get a very bad jittering from side to side, even a little bit of violence between the two, and it can even break itself eventually. I've had it happen to me on tanks before where with this keeps happening, it will break itself, especially while being driven. So if we take it back to the workshop, the biggest thing we have to be looking at here to fix this is going to our select tool, and looking at the tension on our tank track wheels and if I can actually we just look at the back end there to select a little bit easier and all of these having a hundred percent track tension is the problem we're having here so if I actually go around and we go over to the fixed one as you can see I haven't changed the tension on these two wheels but the middle two I've dropped them down to 50% here and usually this process of finding out which values will actually make it not jump is a little bit of uh, test trial and error is what I'm trying to say. I was going to just say testing and figuring out what kind of works for it and not. So sometimes just making the two rollers at 50% might not always be the best setup for it to make sure it doesn't bounce anywhere. Another creation that I grabbed from the workshop and modified here a little bit has a, a multiple different numbers that they used to make their tank tracks, I guess, just not jump, basically. Here we are with the MK2 Dover Dragon, and they have multiple different points on the tank tracks here with different tensions on them, some of them being at 40%. Some of them being at 100%. And actually, the way I made these jump as much as they did is I basically just removed the decreased tension from each one of these wheels. So I made every one 100%. And as I've played around with them for a little bit, it seems like if you have a long stretch around one wheel, then that wheel is going to need a lower tension to make sure that the tank tracks don't jump as much. So just putting this guy at 100 will probably already create some jumping in between our tracks here. So let's see if I'm correct. Oh, interesting. Apparently there's enough slack between the other tensions on here so that just changing around one of these guys doesn't actually create too much of a problem. But like I was showing off earlier, changing all of them around does create a much bigger problem for your tank track builds. If you guys do have any problems similar to this one and want to see if I can fix them, make a quick little tutorial like this one to fix them and help the community out, just leave a comment down below with that. But anyways, of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. So people need me and I need to go.